Well, Thursday is a high-quality premium doubleheader. Clippers and Cavs both smarting after Tuesday losses meet in downtown Cleveland. Then Houston and James Harden play what promises to be a long-distance shootout at Oracle against the Warriors. This one should be sponsored by Foot Locker because that's how many three-pointers <laughs> are going to be up Thursday on TNT. All right, guys, let's start with the Cavs. They hit with their third loss on Tuesday. Dennis, as I said, Milwaukee. And Ty Lue eventually pulled the guys in a 17-point loss. Uh, Greek Freak ties his career high. Lots of turnovers for the Cavs. What do you make of that performance? I, I think they lost a little bit of their focus. And you have to understand that you go to, uh, I think it was Ohio State football game, you had some extra <laughs> fun. They won't blame it on that, but sometimes that takes a little energy out of you. You lose a little bit of your focus. You come back, get back to your normal flow of things, and you come across the Milwaukee team and say, you know what, guys, we're getting better. You're the barometer. We have to play well against you. And the Greek Freak put on a show. And once he got things going, Talu realized I couldn't get out of that hole, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my guys and get rescued ready for the next ball game. Yeah, 19 turnovers, like I said, and uh, 68 points in the paint. Meanwhile, we had a Shaq in the pool. I was going to say nominee. <laughs> this is a lock, what Let took place see. in this game. Let me see. Where JR's talking. Here it comes. Jason Terry. And he oh, forgot no. he was on yeah, defense. Yeah. The, the ball's of the at half court. Yeah. Oh, no. The Tony ball's at half court. Hey, listen to me. I know the president of it's Shaq and the Fool that will be on Shaq and the Fool. I guarantee it. Snell gets an easy dunk. Shaq, you know oh. what? We're laughing at that, but he's from Jersey too, Shaq. JR's from Jersey now for your Jersey boys. Shaq, come on. That should... <laughs> oh, even he stunned. Even... Whoa, that's the first time you've been speechless, speechless. in years for Shaq and the Fool. Wow. He did that in the middle, <laughs> yes, of, the yeah. middle of the game. I mean, look, it's funny and everything, but come on, Shaq. That, you know what? That right there just replaced uh, Otto Porter. Remember Otto yes. Porter? Yes. Yeah, that, that was, uh, congratulations, JR. You get stock in <laughs> Shaq and the Fool Incorporated. Wow. <laughs> You're a lock. All right, the Clippers tripped up in Brooklyn, and uh, it ended a seven-game slide for the Nets. And Dennis, in this one, it was interesting as we take a look at the Clippers. Most recently, all of those losses have come on the road. Doc Rivers saying that his guys acted, in his words, like they'd done something. Mm -hmm. And he said, look, we haven't won anything yet. And you talk about focus. There was a little lack of focus in that game. Blake Griffin did not play. No question about it. Uh, CP3, Doc Rivers, they're Dallas Cowboy fans like me, so I know going through Turkey Day, getting a little bit of that fever, kind of rubbed off. You get a little lackadaisical. You're going into Brooklyn. They're not a great team. You get off to the fast start. You're the, you're the talk of the Western Conference. And now you have to realize you go on the road, teams are watching that. They're understanding you're off to a fast start. They see the defensive focus is there. So now you come into a building like Brooklyn who's struggling trying to find some victories, but they're scrappy every night, and they caught you sleeping. They did. Uh, Clippers have to wake up here now. They've also got yeah. a 70-point loss. Mm -hmm. They scored 70 against Indiana. That just can't happen if you're supposed to be a championship contender. You know, and that's why a lot of people are up and down with the Clippers. You know, every year Clippers are always contenders, but then in the postseason something happens. You know, they have to remain focused all year if they want to get to the next level. You know, they're still going to have to go through Golden State and San Antonio. They started off great, but they fizzled here the last three games, and hopefully they can pick it up.